once we have calculated a value for the test statistic and defined our decision rule, then the next thing that we have to do is to write our conclusion. In the process of testing of hypothesis, the conclusion can be stated either as a statistical conclusion or as application conclusion. But it is, it is advised to do both. Firstly, let's talk about the statistical conclusion. In this, we simply compare the decision rule with the existing level of significance. Our decision rule can be stated as that we reject H0 if p-value is less than equals to alpha. If p-value is less than the level of significance or equal to that level of significance, we can confidently say that H0 should be rejected. But if the p-value is not less than equals to alpha, rather it is greater than alpha, then we conclude that we fail to reject H0. Leading to this, we write the application conclusion. Application conclusion help us to translate the statistical conclusion into more applied form that is understandable to a layman. In this conclusion, we try to explain that what does it really mean when we say that we reject the null hypothesis or we do not reject the null hypothesis. Thank you.